Recording in progress. Okay. Mayor Julian James, is that correct? Yes. Have you received a copy of the complaint? Huh? Have you received a copy of the complaint? On my charges? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're on the record in case number 24 CRI 315, cases captioned State of Ohio versus Julian James. We're scheduled today for bond setting of the complaint filed according to this date, that being December 4, 2024. We're conduct this hearing by video. The defendant is present. As far as the state of Ohio in lieu of appearing, they filed a written bond recommendation. So I'll go through that with you in just a moment. Mr. James, do you have any objection to the court conduct this hearing by video? What does that mean? You have the right to have your hearings in person at the courthouse, or we can just do it right now by video. Um, any objection to us doing it now by video? Like, like I'm, I'm a little lost, sir. I you don't know. Right to have the jail staff bring it over to the courthouse so we can do your hearing here in person. Like my bond hearing? Yes. Um, if I bring it to the courthouse, then what? What is it going to be any difference? You think? No, it's just whether or not we do it in person or by video. Okay, I, I could do it now. I could do okay. it. Okay. Okay. And again, for the record, sir, have you received a copy of the complaint? Yes, sir. Okay. The complaint charge is two counts. I'm going to throw the charges with you just to make sure that you understand them. Count one charge is breaking and entering a felony of the fifth degree. Count one states in that order about December 2nd, 2024, in Ashland County, Ohio, Julian James did trespass as defined in section 2011.21A1 of the Revised Code on the land or premises of Bill Harris Dodge dealership with purpose to commit a felony. Sir, do you understand what they're claiming in count one? No, sir. Okay. Do you understand they're alleging that offense occurred on December 2nd, 2024 in Ashland County, Ohio? Do I, do I know what? Do you understand their claim that you committed a crime on December 2nd in Ashland, Ohio? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you understand they're alleging you trespassed on the premises of Bill Harris Dodge dealership with yes. purpose commit a felony, which I believe is a theft of a motor vehicle? Yes, sir. Okay. Count two charges attempt to commit an offense, a felony of fifth degree. Count two states in that order about December 2nd, 2024 in Ashland County, Ohio, Julian James did purposely engage in conduct that if successful would have constituted a result in the offense of grand theft or C 2913.02A1, 2913.02B5, to had attempted to steal a 2019 Jeep from Bill Harris Dodge dealership. Sir, do you understand count two? No, can you explain, please? Uh, so again, they're alleging you committed offense on December 2nd, 2024 in Ashton County, Ohio. The allegation that you attempted to steal a 2019 Jeep from Bill Harris Dodge dealership. You understand that, sir? Yeah, I understand. During so, the course of these proceedings, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in future court hearings. You also have the right to be represented by an attorney. If you don't think you can afford to hire an attorney, the court will consider for court appointed counsel. If you qualify, the court will appoint an attorney to represent you in this case. There's a $25 fee for court appointed counsel. Further, sir, since you're charged with a felony offense by complaint, you have the right to a preliminary hearing. It's kind of a mini trial during which the state would have to prove to the court that there is probable cause for the charge in this case for the case to continue. And finally, do you have the right to a jury trial? Sir, do you understand your rights? I, 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 I don't low key. I, I don't. Okay. Sir, do you understand your right to remain silent? Yeah, I understand that. Do you understand your right to an attorney? No. So you do have the right to be represented by an attorney. Um, if you want to be represented by a lawyer, um, if you want to hire one on your own, that's fine. If you don't think you can afford to hire one, I can consider for court appointed counsel. If you qualify, I'll appoint someone to represent you in this case. Do you understand that, sir? Yeah, I think my mom can hire one. Okay. Um, sir, do you understand your right to a jury trial? No. Okay. Um, sir, what that means, if you do go to trial, you have the right to require the state of Ohio to put on evidence and witnesses and prove to 12 jurors by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that you did commit the crimes charged in this case. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. And finally, as far as your right to a preliminary hearing, um, that's kind of, it's an early hearing in the case. Uh, it's just a probable cause hearing, which means that the state would have to be able to show that a crime was probably committed. That you're probably the one who committed it. Uh, it's similar to a trial. The state would put on evidence, witnesses, and the court would just make a determination about whether or not there's probable cause. Yes, sir. Okay, so you saying um, when I so when I go to trial, that they gonna they gonna uh, 
the I could tell my story and they gonna prove if I'm guilty or not. As far as your right to a jury trial, yes, sir, the state would have to put on evidence showing that you committed the crime by evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, no one could require that you testify during the trial, but if you wanted to, um, you could tell your side of the story. If you wanted to, you could put on witnesses and evidence. You're not required to present anything during the trial. It's the state's burden to prove their case. Okay, I got one more question. Yes, sir. Um, so these are my only two charges. As of now, there could be more charges in the future, but at this point, these are the only two charged in this case. Okay. And I'm about this this you going to today you're gonna tell me how much my bond is, right? Yes, sir. Am I so my mom gonna be able to buy me out tomorrow? Um, if she can post the bond, yes, she'll she'll be able to post the bond tomorrow. What if she could post bond today? Um, I'm not sure we'll have the paperwork filed in time. Oh, so I gotta have paperwork and stuff for me. Well, correct. The court has to file an order, and at that point, she can post a bond. Um, there might be some scheduling issues as far as um, getting you set up with our bond programs and so forth as well. Okay, so so if y'all if y'all do the bond stuff today and post it, she could post bond tomorrow for sure. Yes, the bond paperwork will be filed before I leave today. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, sir, do you want to be represented by a lawyer in this case? Um, do I have to speak for real? Like, am I have to? Do I have to talk? I'm just asking, do you want to be represented by a lawyer in this case? I'm going to set a bond today regardless. Y'all set a bond today regardless? Yes. No, you could. Uh, I just want to know my bond, sir. Okay. Uh, but throughout the course of the case, do you want to be represented by a lawyer? Yeah, after, like after all this, yeah. Okay. And you think your mom's going to try and hire one? Yeah, she told me. Okay. Um, sir, if it does come to your attention, you cannot afford to hire an attorney, just let the court know. I can always consider you for court-appointed counsel. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and set a bond today, and the state filed a written bond recommendation. So the state has recommended the court set bond amount of $25,000 with a 10% option permitted. Thank you. Thank you. As far as conditions of bond, state's request of the court will probably post a person for constants. I'll explain you in just a moment what that means. State's also requesting the court require that you remain in the state of Ohio. The case is pending. You'd be subject to GPS monitoring. You have no contact with Bill Harris Dodge dealership and William Good. As far as the underlying factual allegations, state notes as follows. Uh, defendant and co-defendants were allegedly trying to take a vehicle from Bill Harris dealership. They fled the scene by vehicle, which was stolen from another jurisdiction. After crashing, defendants led uh, officers on foot pursuit. Defendant and co-defendants are suspects in other similar theft of motor vehicle cases in other jurisdictions. As far as the weight of the evidence against you, state notes strong. As far as the confirmation or identity, state notes confirmed at the scene by law enforcement. State also notes that you're resident of Toledo, Ohio, uh, per CCH as a juvenile on April 7, 2022 in Lucas Common Pleas Court. Uh, you were charged with assault and aggravated uh, riot. Uh, I Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I was a charge of assault. Um, they're saying as a juvenile on April 7, 2022, in Lucas Common Police Court, you were charged with assault and aggravated riot. I, don't, I remember getting charged with aggravated riot because I had gotten into a fight, but I don't remember no assault being on my stuff. They ain't tell me no assault. They only said an aggravated riot. Okay. Um, finally, state notes said Devin Roan, Tayshawn Green, and Jahavian Winston are co defendants, sir. Sure, that's the state's bond recommendation. Again, as far as state, the court is only setting bond, courts not addressing the merit to the charges. Can you do have the right to remain silent? Further, sir, bond is something the court can always reconsider. Uh, so if you want to speak with your attorney before addressing bond, that's fine. I'll set a bond today. We can always reconsider that in the future. Is there anything you want to tell me today, though, before I set bond? Again, you do not have to. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so, so I, my bond is 25,000 with 10%. That's what the state's recommended. I have not set bond yet. So when, so, um, so when you said bond, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm new to this. Like I ain't never been in trouble. You know, I, I did my first time ever coming to jail or doing anything and getting in trouble like this. But so that's what the, the state recommended. Yes, sir. And then, so it's all up to you now. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. So. So, like, you, by you asking me, is there anything I want to tell you, like, like, what does that mean? Like, 
So you just have the right to be heard. You're not required to say anything at this time. Again, you have the right to remain silent. But if there's anything you want to tell me, you're free to. But again, you are not required to. Uh, all I want to say is um, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Not even that. Like, I would, I knew what was going on. But, like, I'm a good kid. I ain't. It's not my lifestyle. I don't want to live like this. I got a three-year-old daughter I want to take care of. And, you know, I. I got family that look up to me. I got a lot of younger siblings, and I just moved back from Southgate, Michigan, not even two weeks ago, and I was trying to turn my life around, but I just made stupid mistakes, hanging with the wrong crowd, being a follower, you know, but I never stole the car. Like, I never drove in the behind the wheel. I and, never... Again, so we're getting into the merits of the crime. That's really not an issue today, so. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set bond as follows. Be released with the cases pending. I'll have to post two bonds. First bond is a purse reconnaissance bond that your written promise of the court to appear for all future hearings. If you would fail to appear for a hearing, you could be processed for the separate felony offense called failure to appear. That's a felony of fourth degree. The charge would be in addition to the charge in this case. Yes, sir. So, so if I fail to appear to my hearing, so, so that's, that means like, how can I fail to come to a hearing if I don't show up to court? Correct, sir. Okay. Yep. So if you post bond, so you have to come to all your future hearings, otherwise you can be charged with another felony offense. So after, if I bond out, you saying like, if I don't come to my hearings. Correct. If you do not bond out, obviously the, the jail will make sure that you're at your hearing. Okay. Okay. Um, the court's also going to require you post a bond amount of $25,000. That can be posted a 10% option, surety bond, cash bond, or real estate posting. If you post bond or subject to the following conditions, one, you're not to leave the state of Ohio. The case is pending. Second, you must appear for all future hearings in this case. Third, you must keep court advice of your address and phone number at all times. Fourth, you must obey all laws and orders of the court. Fifth, you're not to use, consume, or possess any alcohol or drugs of abuse. You also be subject to RAM, drug and alcohol testing at your own expense. Further, if you post bond, you must enroll in the court's drug and alcohol testing program. Further, sir, if you post bond, you will be subject to GPS monitoring. What that means, sir, if you post bond or bail select up to GPS monitor, you have to wear that while this case is pending. While you're on GPS monitoring, a curfew must be to approve residence during the hours of 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Further, sir, you'll be responsible for all costs associated with the GPS monitoring. Further, if you post bond, you have no contact whatsoever with the alleged co-defendants, uh, Devin Roan, Tayshawn Green, and Jahavian Winston. Further, sir, if you post bond, you have no contact whatsoever uh, with Bill Harris Dodge Dealership and William Good. Sir, okay. do you understand the condition of bond? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a uh, question? So, um, you going to post bond today, right? I'll file the order today, yes, sir. Okay, and my mom going to be able to post her post bill tomorrow? If she has the money, yes, sir. She Okay, that's cool. Um, To warn you, sir, the bond again is $25,000. There's a 10% option permitted, so if she posts a 10%, That'd be $2,500. There might also be approximately $80 in court costs. As far as the GPS monitor, that also requires a deposit about $500 for the monitor and the first and last month monitoring fees. So I'm so I'm basically so I'm basically looking at $3,000 to get bailed out. Right around $3,000, yes, sir. For my mom to bail me out of here. Yes, sir. Are you going to post that today? The order will be filed today, yes, sir. So. so I'm sorry, so I keep asking the same stuff. I'm just trying to get an understanding. So when you when you order when you do all that today, she's gonna be able to bail me out tomorrow if she got the money. Yes, sir. Okay, because I'm hearing a lot of other stuff. People telling me um they're gonna tell you this, they're gonna let you bail out, but then the, when it's time to bail out, they're gonna hit you with another charge to keep you in here. I'm just hearing a lot, sir. This is my first time being in trouble, you know. And I strongly recommend you talk to your attorney about that. He can explain everything that's going on, sir. But the court's going to file the bond order today. If your mother has the money, she'll be able to post the bond tomorrow. Um, let me give you your next hearing date, sir. So your next hearing date is going to be this coming Friday, December 6, 2024 at 3 p.m. We're going to do that by video. If you do post bond before then, just come to our courthouse with the Ashton County Court of Common Pleas. We're in downtown Nashville on 2nd Street. Can just come to the courthouse Friday at three o'clock. We'll make sure you have computer access. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. And how do I know when my, my bond is posted? Like, how am I going to know when it's posted? You mean by your mother? 
So I got to call my mom and ask her if my bond posted. As far as the money being posted? No, like, how do I know when I got a bond? Like, how do I know when she can make bill? Oh, I'm telling you, before I leave today, I'll I'll file the order. So she'll be able to come, say, anytime after 8.30 tomorrow, she should be able to post that bond if she has the money. Okay, so around 3000 So I got to tell her she looking at 3000 she got to pay. About 3100 yes, sir. God damn. Um. So again, sir, your next hearing is Friday at 3 o'clock. If you do hire an attorney, let them know when that hearing date is. If they're not available, they can request that the court reschedule that. Um, but as far as you're concerned, unless you get a court order telling a different date and time, you have to be at court Friday at 3 o'clock. Do you understand that, sir? Next Friday? This coming Friday in two days. And I have to drug test? Yes, sir. I've been, I've been smoking. Yep. Just let the bailiffs know, sir. Okay. You cannot use drugs while you're on bond, but if you think you're going to test positive for something you've already done. No, just I know I'm going to test positive. I've smoked for four years straight. Okay, just let the bailiffs know, but you cannot keep doing that while on bond, sir. Oh, I'm not. Okay. If I can't smoke, I ain't going to smoke. I ain't going to do that. Okay, sir, we'll see you Friday at 3 o'clock. Um, again, if it does come to your attention, you cannot afford to hire an attorney. Just let the court know. We can always consider you for court-appointed counsel, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, we'll see you Friday at 3. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Recording stopped.